Good morning, friends. It's Bob welcoming you to a St. Patrick's Day. And I want to take just a couple of minutes and talk about who this guy is because we have these clovers and these green things and I've got a green watch and I've got my green, you know, my dark green shirt on and all those different things and supposedly you get pinched if you don't uh, wear green today. What's this all about? Well, interestingly enough, there's a guy named Patrick who is a, uh, he's actually, I think, a Welshman, really, when it comes, he's on, from the, uh, the west coast of England. He is basically captured, this is in the Middle Ages, and he ca is captured by some Irish pirates, is brought, brought over to Ireland as a slave, across the, the channel over to Ireland as a slave. He is... Uh, basically just enslaved and becomes a shepherd there, uh, a slave shepherd, you know, tending the flocks of sheep in Ireland, and then uh, has this kind of amazing conversion story of uh, really coming and his faith becoming very, very real to him. And uh, at, at, at one point in time, he has a chance to escape, uh, but he's had all this time to sit under the stars during the night with the Lord and uh, and get to know Jesus in a, in a serious way as a slave in these really bad circumstances. As a slave, he's been able to get to the Lord, get to know the Lord in a powerful way. Finally, he has the chance to escape. He gets back to his home, but something inside of him just won't leave him alone. That these people that enslaved him actually need to hear about this Jesus, and they need to. The faith needs to be brought to them. So Patrick basically <coughs> goes back to the people that enslaved him. He goes back where all of this injustice was. He goes into the teeth of all this to bring the gospel to him. And he brings the gospel to the entire island. He ends up starting a movement in Ireland that brings the, the gospel to the entire island of Ireland. Ireland. And he single-handedly is this person who out of the rubble of all of his slave history and of the suffering that he's had, he brings the gospel back into that whole uh, into that whole set of relationships, into that whole dysfunctional system. He brings the goodness of God and the gospel. And interestingly enough, then Irish Christianity uh, in in a time where uh, Roman Christianity was uh, the predominant kind of expression in Europe. He brings this expression of Christianity that's particularly pure and particularly Christ-oriented and as opposed to uh, just giant church and ritual-oriented, uh, which is where the church was at that point in time. It's this very earthy spirituality where, where people really are loving God and they're bringing what they have and who they are to God and, and, and God is receiving them. And there's this beautiful movement of God that comes out of the brokenness that Patrick experienced and him experiencing the power and the presence and the love and the grace of God, even in the midst of that brokenness, in the midst of that slavery, now he brings that, that goodness of God back to the people even that treated him unjustly and it starts a whole movement. Now, I think that there's a message for us and it's not far to get to here is that so frequently in our lives that, that God will use the rubble and the brokenness of the past and he will infuse it with grace and allow us then to become his instruments, then to bring the goodness of God, the gospel, the good news about Jesus back into these places that were all broken and all busted to heck. This is the story of St. Patrick. This is also your and my story. As we seek to be on mission for God, please expect that the Lord will actually exploit previous brokenness in the past to show his goodness and then to bring his goodness to others. This is St. Patrick's Day. Let's celebrate what God has done in bringing us out of and continuing to redeem and to heal and to reconcile this brokenness of our past. Happy St. Patty's Day. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll pick up tomorrow where we were with the healing of the, the leper. But today I just felt like I wanted to talk about St. Patrick because it's St. Patrick's Day. So wear some green today. God bless you. I love you.